caves. Uh, not that type. How can a brass band and a steam train help you understand the universe? Well, it's all about waves. Uh, not that type. As a duck swims across a pond, the waves in front bunch closer together and the ones behind spread further apart. Now, that same effect happens with all types of waves, from sound waves to light waves. Light wave frequency changes are experienced as changes in colour. This means that light-emitting stars appear bluer as they move towards the Earth and redder as they move away. This concept is known as Doppler redshift and it proves that the universe is expanding, that the stars and galaxies are moving away from us. Pretty cool. But what if you don't have a multi-million pound specialist telescope and want to experience the Doppler effect with your own senses? The Doppler effect was first proven using sound waves back in 1845. Not by using complex scientific equipment, but trumpeters travelling on trains. Listen as the brass band just plays the note of G as they speed past a train station. So far, so normal. But, like astronomers observing distant stars, the Doppler effect reveals itself to the listeners back on the platform. <laughs> well, I'd say that was nearly a perfect semitone from G to F sharp, exactly as we thought it would be. Amazing! We hear the higher pitch as it approaches and the waves begin to bunch up closer together. We hear that G as it speeds past. But then instantly a lower pitch as the train disappears down the track. And the sound waves spread out behind. It's just so thrilling to, you know, replay the original experiment and for it to work so wondrously well. I mean, that was literally a drop of just about exactly a semitone from G to F sharp. Doppler shift is proof that we have an expanding universe and yet it's something which each and every one of us can experience on a daily basis, whether it's uh, an ambulance siren, whether it's uh, a speeding car, it's a sunny day and we've just witnessed a really beautiful piece of physics, which sounds so beautiful. I love it when science, arts come together. A wonderful everyday phenomenon which represents something so immense. <laughs> But it's probably better to experience a concert when you're all moving at the same speed.